Uh, Steve, the show we've been looking forward to. Um, uh, a great show. A few little changes now. A bit sad that uh, the main bout isn't going to be what it was, what we wanted it to be. But still, a great undercard with some great fights on. Do you know what, Lee? Someone always comes around and kicks in the teeth on it. We was doing, and we've been like um, really excited about this show. And I was thinking, I mean done better, I probably have done better but uh, it's certainly the best I've done for a couple of years. I think it would have been uh, one of the best that we've done in Liverpool, certainly while yeah, I've been working I, And I was excited about it because the number of uh, good 50-50 fights and um, I mean the top of the bill was Brandon Dior against Asti Lane, he's been a Commonwealth champion and fought a lot of people and uh, it was a good test for Brandon and he was a strap on the line which I always uh, brings a bit more interest into it, you know, and um, from my point of view, I think, like, Brandon's a super talent, and, and we've got to push him, and so that's why we've invested in putting an English title as a top of the bill, because we believe in Brandon, and uh, unfortunately, actually, he's got injured, he's pulled out, so we're going to going to reschedule that, and that, as we talk now, we're looking around to get someone for Brandon, but, you know, we'll, we'll get someone, we'll have to probably bring a foreigner in, we've got a few agents looking at it, but... That's a shame because it was a belt in top of the bill. I mean, what we'll probably go with now as the top of the bill is the, the two scousers, Jake Barn and Leon Willings, fighting each other <laughs> really in uh, as well, isn't it? a central area eliminator. I mean, uh, that come out of the blue. He was just looking for a sixth rounder for, for Jake or maybe an eight. And then I think Liam Williams said he'd fight him if we could do something for him. And uh, Jake said yes straight away. And it was all done and dusted. Why I wasn't even in the country, so I've come back <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, what was going to be the chief supports now now at top of the bill and you can't beat two Manchester lads fighting each other or two London lads fighting yeah. each other and two Manchester lads and uh, there's never there's never a bad fight like that and um, it is going to be a good fight and fair play to them both taking it on a little show like, yeah, like this so uh, good on that I mean another 50-50 which is Brian Collins and Bernard Sanchez you know um, they had a draw last time well, am I right? He was, should have been fighting uh, Jake Goodwin on the show, but wouldn't, didn't want to do six rounds because he's really coming to fight this because this yeah. is a six rounder yeah. with uh, just Trey. Say, say that, yeah, he uh, didn't want to um, get knocked about um, the week before he fought Brian because he's coming for the win. Because obviously, last time he put Brian over, which made it the, the draw. So, uh, yeah, Brian's bang up for it as well. So, uh, that's a good fight. Charlotte Powell, again she was fighting someone the who, who, who they had a great draw last yeah. time out and uh, I think she's not been allowed in the country so uh, she's got Beck Conley who's, who's a, who's a tried and tested journey woman isn't yeah. she so um, that'll be fine and you know Charlotte's impossible for her not to be in a good fight isn't it you know um, <laughs> there's not many women you can say that about but she she's always in, um, in, a, in a good fight so looking at that one Ethan Brown v Rustin. Oh, that's a great test for him. As we know, he's good, been a great good, test for all our guys. test for everybody, isn't it? And, and you know, it makes them all work, yeah. That, he's normally tested our guys a little bit further on than yeah. Ethan, so it should be a real good test for him. Yeah, for someone as, as, as young as Ethan and, mm. and the uh, inexperience, um, you know, it, it's a testament in our uh, confidence into him. That How good we think we can put him into there, yeah. So um, that, that'll be a good fight. Ben Burnham, you know, everyone thinks they're the unluckiest boxers in, in, in the country, don't they? You know, and, and Brandon's in that position at the moment where he thinks everyone's jinxed. But Ben, we've had two opponents pull out. We're on the search for, for one at the moment. We think we've got someone there. Well, he um, was going to get a bolted bomber, but he got a cut, didn't he? Yeah, we had him, yeah, yeah. yeah so we lost him and we lost someone else and now... Uh, uh, but listen, it's boxing, there's no point about complaining because it doesn't change, it's just getting harder and harder and uh, we've got Joe Cavanon against Daryl Tapfuma. Um, as we just found out, he can what, fight. What, what a fight he put up the other day, so that's that's a big test for Joe. Um, Nathan Qualis, Ethan King, you know. Um, Don't know him. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a tough Welsh kid. He's, he, I remember his dad 
and um, you know Ian be coming to win. So um, Nathan coming off um, an injury, uh, it's not the easiest of fights that we'd have been looking for. But you know we've got hopes for Nathan. And he's going to be in big fights going oh, forward. Is that going to be a six round? Is that? Yeah, that's yeah. a six rounder. Another six rounder where we've got uh, Matthew Rennie against uh, the, the <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. Stathos. Stathos. Yeah. yeah. I mean he's fought on a couple of. Yeah, as he was, he's not and with done, us. And done really but, well, um, hasn't he? Again, Matty's opponent pulled out and, you know, we asked him if, if they'd fight each other and they both said yeah and, you know... Uh, and they're both unbeaten. Yeah, again, Matt, Matty wants to, to do something in the sport, so, you know, he's, he's got to be uh, beating um, Staffos and, uh, and, and moving on. Staffos thinks he's going to be a world champion, so, you know, if he is, he's going to beat Matthew Rennie, isn't he? And, uh, <laughs> you know, that... That is how it is. It's a it's a good fight. Um, and is that going to be six rounds as well? That, that's it? six rounds, yeah. yeah. So um, Stathos hasn't done six before, has he? No, no. no I think uh, Matty's only done it once before. No, he's done it twice, isn't he? Has he done it twice? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but Matt, Matt is is a lovely boxer, and you know, I don't think you'd have to worry about his ending because he, he kind of kind of. I wouldn't say he dictates a pace, doesn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, 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 he's a good fighter, but Staffos will be coming to try, won't he? And mm -hmm. uh, that's what I've been saying for a couple of years now. I've not been able to pull it off. Is I want shows like this where obviously they're not all going to be 50 50s, but if half of them are, and on this one there's well, more than half of them, you know what I mean? We've, um, we've, we've, got a, we've got a great show, and I just hope the people in Liverpool come out and support it, you know. and. Um, it's something that I think in Bolton and then certainly in Wigan we've, we've got the same and uh, I think people who need to know now they're getting the hard earned money out and paying to come to the shows a lot just come and watch their mate don't they mm -hmm. but I want them to come and stay and support the show yeah. knowing that they're going to see some good fights so um, that's what we're aiming at this year and uh, we Delivered by default, I think, on Saturday in Doncaster. This Saturday, you know, it's all perfectly planned. And uh, I, I can tell you now, it's not like a TV show where you can go left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. There's going to be some upsets on here where, I don't know, I, I, I hope we come back and we go all oh, one on the left hand side. But if they have, there'll all have been some cuts and bruises along the way. So uh, anybody out there in Liverpool who's got a free Saturday night, come down to Olympia and, and watch a great small on all show and give the support, we all need it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it is, it's going to be a cracking night. Right, well, uh, we'll be speaking to you next, well, I'll see you down there on uh, on Saturday and then we'll have a chat about it on the Monday and then you can also tell me about the Bolton show, which happens yeah. next Saturday. All right then, Lee, thanks very much, mate. See you later, mate. Bye. Bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.